Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 9th. King of Wands. King of Wands is given to take action. This is somebody that gets a vision, usually goes for it. You know, this is a creator, somebody that creates, creates their own path, creates their own success. So... This is somebody who does something very decisive, very strong, very protective, given to take action. Looks like this guy uh, has been thinking about something. He's got that uh, opportunity in his hand. It's exciting. He doesn't look very happy at the moment. Uh, it's almost like he's discontent. I feel like we do have somebody here that is discontent. If you can tell by the look on his face, he doesn't look very thrilled. Has to do something. So it looks like somebody's about to uh, take action, even though they're not too thrilled about it. Doesn't look too thrilled. I've got to do it. It's like, I, I have to. I, there's no choice at this point. Thinking about it. Absolutely. So this is, uh, is it worth it? Should I? Maybe time to relocate, maybe time to go. So somebody is thinking whether they should keep uh, keep doing this or they should do something else. You know, what should I do? What should I do? So this is contemplation. We have a very, uh, well, this guy is wise. Kings are wise. So we have a very wise individual who... It's like he's sitting in his chair and he's thinking about it, you know, and he's thinking about it when he's working too, you know, he's thinking about it a lot. So we have somebody here that's thinking a lot about, you know, what they're, what they want in their future, you know, what do I want? Should I, should I stay here? Is it, or should I go or, you know, should I invest? Should I, you know, somebody is really... Uh, I feel like they're discontent, very discontent. Um, they definitely have an exciting opportunity, probably for stability, okay? You know, it could lead to making money. It could be a new money adventure, you know? But there's some sort of decision obviously that will have to be made and it may require packing up it may require moving it may require investing in something new so this person is really really thinking about it oh we have a broken heart here so there's some sort of heartache pain suffering grieving uh hurt so somebody is is hurting they're hurting their heart is aching their heart is aching because they have to. This is a. This is obviously a decision. Somebody has to make a, a painful decision, you know. And I feel like their their heart is aching, and I feel like they're. It feels like they're they're feeling a lot of a lot of suffering, right? They're suffering in their heart. Their heart is saying, you know, you got to do something. There's heartache. There's heart pain here. Okay. Um, this person. Uh, it feels like they work a lot, you know, they, they, they work, 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 and, and maybe they, you know, um, especially when they're working, they're thinking about their future, and they're thinking about their life, and they're thinking about, you know, all the pain. Maybe they're thinking about the pain that they're in, or they're thinking about the pain that they put somebody else through, but there's definitely some heartache here. All right. Um, heart pain. Now, the, I wonder if somebody is going to be giving up, you know, they can't, they don't want to fight anymore, you know, they've been fighting, they've been trying to prove something, you know, they've been very guarded, somebody could be giving up, you know, giving up a fight, they've been, you know, maybe they just don't have, they, they don't have the desire to put effort in anymore, maybe it's a dead end, maybe if the season is over, it's over and now it's time to just dig it up maybe it's time to just you know give it up give up it's over the season it's over you know that kind of thing um nine of wands reversed so that's like uh overwhelmed i think we have somebody here that is burned out they're burned out um they may have a lot of pride though this person has a lot of pride they don't like to give up but 
maybe it's time to give up. Um, there's a lot of worry here. We have somebody here that is very, very worried. They're worried about, I don't know, what, what are they worried about? They're worried about maybe their reputation. Maybe they're worried about hurting other people. I feel like we have an individual here who uh, has been struggling. They've been struggling to accept something. They've been struggling to uh, give in, you know. It's like they need to just, just let it go. It's over. Whatever something is over. Um, there's definitely some sort of pain here, wounded. Uh, I, I don't know what this is, but there's heart, there's uh, extreme pain. I feel like there's a lot of pain, okay? Somebody is really, really suffering, okay? And it's in their heart. Six of Pentacles reversed. So this is... Uh, not listening, not listening to professional advice, not seeking professional advice. There's some, there's somebody here that, um, is very imbalanced. They're unbalanced. You know what I mean? There's, there's lack of equality here. There's, ex, there's an individual that isn't reciprocating, they're not listening, they're very, uh, I don't know, when you get the Six of Pentacles reversed, it could be an abuse of power, there could be greed here, there could be somebody here that is very, very mean, that is very, very controlling, with, seriously, with these three cards, I'm not sure that we have somebody here that doesn't like to give up control, you know, likes, to, doesn't want to give up, but maybe it's, it's time, you know. I wonder if somebody's about to give up. They're about to... Yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like they're about to give up investing in something. You know, why Why bother? It's not worth it. It's not worth it anymore. It's not worth it. There's no reason to. I feel like you have somebody here that is about to make a decision to give up giving to a situation that doesn't get any reciprocation you know what I mean it's like why give to it if I'm not getting anything in return so I feel like we have and I, feel, and I know a lot of you are not gonna like this but it's a, I feel like it's a masculine energy okay I feel like it's a masculine energy that is about to give up they're about to give up because they're feeling a lot of hurt and they're feeling a lot of pain you know, and there's why, why continue to nurture something and invest in something where, you know, it's all one-sided. It is, it's all one-sided. So I, f I feel like we have an individual that is not happy with the circumstances and they're hurt. They're very, very hurt and they're about to just, uh, it feels like walk away. Uh, ah, this is the death of a person or idea death of a situation you know maybe they need to retreat maybe they they I don't know if there's heart problems or what or they're sick or they're ill somebody's been um, overdoing it perhaps there is could be some sort of illness here a need to take a break a need to take a rest um, uh, this is this you know I'm not sure what is happening but I feel like we have somebody that just can't do it anymore they can't do it anymore they they can't they may have uh, and it feels like they've reached the end they've reached the end of this well it's time to go whatever that means it's, it's just time to go and I feel like there's some sort of illness here just being honest with the four of swords and the nine of wands and I, I'm not sure if it's heart related it could be heart related um and it could be stress related as well. There could be stress, okay, mental stress that has caused, you know, some sort of heart issues, okay. Um, I, mean, I think we have somebody here that is giving up. They're, it's like they, they don't have any fight left, you know. Um, four of swords, four of swords, that is exhausted, 
overwhelmed. Yeah, we do have somebody here that is exhausted. There's withdrawal here. We, this person may be withdrawing, you know. They may be going through a period of withdrawal, you know. Um, feeling, somebody may be even feeling, you know, very alone, very, and I'm going to say it, dead inside. You know, they may be feeling very dead and empty inside. Very, very hurt. Um, High Priestess. High Priestess. Observing. Receiving keeping to themselves. We have somebody here that, well, I think this is another person. This is somebody that is, uh, I don't know if it's a healer, could be a counselor. This is, this is a very intuitive individual that is, well, she knows something. She has the script. That's the script in her hands. This is all part of the script. So the high priestess is keeping some sort of information. Waiting, waiting for the moment. I'm rubbing my chest. I'm rubbing my heart. So I don't know what the hell is going on. I feel like somebody has some sort of heart issues here. and There's some sort of need to reflect. There's a need to reflect and, and go within. Definitely withdraw. Definitely withdraw. Go within. You follow intuition. Becoming distant. I feel like we have somebody here that is becoming distant. They're withdrawing. Somebody may be choosing to go their own way. I mean, the high priestess typically uh, chooses, you know, to be alone. There's some sort of secret here. Somebody may have been keeping secrets about their illness or their heart or their broken heart. You know, somebody may, be, may have been keeping it a secret, hiding it, hiding the truth, hiding their, hiding their pain. Somebody may also be hurting over another person because you notice this person's looking down here. So somebody may, be, may have caused another person pain and, you know, they may be praying for forgiveness or they're, they're, they're suffering over it or they're having regrets and they're thinking about everything that has happened. So I do I think we have an individual that has probably hurt another person and they are probably, you know... Uh, not feeling very good about it by the looks of things. I feel like that whoever the high priestess is um, has become distant, you know, has uh, gone within and may not be, maybe this person isn't reciprocating. Maybe this person is just, you know, choosing to, to be alone, you know. Um, Somebody is going to be receiving a message. Somebody is going to be receiving a message. I feel like it's, it's, and I don't know why I'm saying this, but I feel like it's from somebody that has passed away. Okay. I, I feel like it's from somebody that has passed away, you know, is, is going to be guiding somebody. Um, whatever that means. Fool, fool, reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. So the fool reversed. That is headed for a fall. Somebody is headed for a fall. They may fall. They may fall. They may collapse. Somebody may collapse. They may be. Somebody may be overworking. 
and it could be affecting their heart you know they could collapse um, may or may not survive with that ten of swords reversed now that fool is reckless it's a poor judgment call it's not looking where they're going somebody may not be looking where they're going it's like and there's there's some sort of unfinished business as well um, I don't know if it's a near-death experience or what with that Ten of Swords and that Four of Swords. You know, some something could be happening that you don't see because this is foolish. Somebody could be clumsy. You know, they could fall. They could... Who knows what's going to happen. Um, the High Priestess knows. The High Priestess um, is very receptive. Um, she sees something may see somebody fall so I'm not sure if somebody's going to be falling down and somebody sees it somebody may see this fall you know um, they may see maybe they know that somebody is about to fall somebody is about to um, collapse you may know it it's coming whatever uh, somebody is sick somebody is definitely sick I don't care what anybody says with that four of swords and I'm telling you what um of swords reversed this is not getting up somebody may not be able to get up <laughs> whatever that means um nothing left to give no energy left somebody has no energy left either they, they just don't have any energy okay this may be bad timing as uh, as well Somebody needs to follow their gut, okay, and, and let fear go, let go of the fear. This is somebody that is very fearful. Somebody may be fearful of, you know, I don't know, mortality, you know. Let go of the fear. Let go of the fear. Replace the fear with faith. Somebody needs to have faith. Listen to your intuition. Somebody's intuition is going to be guiding them. They're going to, it's going to be guiding them down the path. But we have an individual here that definitely hasn't been listening. A lot of fear. We have somebody here that is very fearful. I don't know if there's some chronic health problems with the Ten of Swords reversed. Some of you may be fearful that they won't be accepted. They may want to come back when you get the Ten of Swords reversed. They may want to come back, but they may be fearful, you know, that they've caused too much harm and they won't be accepted. Anyway, I feel like right around the 9th, right around the 9th, we have a very, um, well, the King of Wands is somebody that is, uh, I don't know if this is a person in a position of authority, okay, the King of Wands is, is a worker. This is somebody that is very strong, very um, educated as well, so I think we have a very smart individual here that is 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 thinking about something thinking about um what needs to be done now this is freedom and liberation but this is fear 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 of falling fear of making a mistake But somebody's gut is telling them that it's time to heal. It is because this is about healing. It is. It's time to heal. It's time to go, whatever that means. Um, do I want? This is do you stay or do you go? That, that's exactly what this is. Somebody has to make a choice. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? And they're going to be presented with the option. 
they're going to be asked, do you want to stay or do you want to go? You know, it's like they're presented with the option, you know. It's just the way it goes. There's two paths and there's a decision to be made. Somebody may have thought the grass was greener on the other side. And it feels like, you know, when you get the Ten of Swords reversed, it could be something coming back from the dead. There's definitely an opportunity to expand with the Two of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. There's an opportunity to build and grow someplace else. But it's going to take willpower. It's going to take discipline. There's definitely an opportunity for growth because that Ace of Wands is about growth in the King of Wands' hands. We have somebody who hasn't been honoring their heart and they're hurting really, really bad. Their heart aches. There's heart pain here. Somebody's going to be moving. They're going to be moving on. Taking a new approach. Leaving something behind. Leaving some trouble behind. Going to a better place. They're taking that ride. They're taking it. They're doing it. So somebody's going to be making the decision to, I don't know, it looks like leave. And I'm, and I'm not sure what manner it is. But they're definitely headed towards harmony and peace and serenity. It's not an easy decision. But I think somebody's heart is to the point where they just can't take it wherever they've been anymore. This is a transition, taking a journey, moving away. Somebody, and, 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 that, and there is relocation here. Somebody, an expansion and moving. Somebody is making a decision to move on from something that really, really, really you know, cause a lot of heartache and pain. Good luck.